Today's episode is brought to you by the art scene. Visit artscene.com.au. Welcome to Glazed Over, the podcast for watercolour enthusiasts. I'll take you behind the washers, the dry brush and the horizon lines to ignite your passion of all things watercolour. I'm your host, Tony White. Thank you for joining me. Now let's get stuck in. Hello everybody, Tony here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to talk to you about something that affects all of us, myself included, every single one of us who will not only paint but do something creative, anything that you're kind of forced to dig inside and and uh, and pull something out. So, and that is block of some sort, you know, painter's block, writer's block, whatever. It all, all comes from the same place. As far as watercolour painting goes, I have one thing that I've found that works really well and pretty quickly for, for climbing out of that little hole, and that is limiting your palette. So sometimes as painters, we can find ourselves in a bit of a rut, a funk, a black hole of self-doubt and loathing and wondering if we'll ever measure up. I have good news for you. You are not alone. We all should feel like this from time to time. It's good. It's a healthy thing. And one of the best ways to actually improve your painting. We see more. We think more. We look a bit more inwards towards ourselves and inside ourselves to try and figure out what we can do to be better. Whenever you're in these sort of phases with your painting, limit your palette. The Art Scene Winter Sale is now one with massive store-wide savings. With up to 25% off all paints, 50% off all Art Basics portfolios, 20% off all Art Basic stretch canvas, 25% off all brushes plus much, much more. Head over to artscene.com.au or click the link in the show notes to check out the full catalogue. All offers available only during June and July 2020 or while stocks last. No rain checks. Freight charges will apply to all mail orders. Discounts listed in this brochure cannot be used in conjunction with any other promotion or discount offerings. First thing I would do is paint with one color. See, whenever we paint like rubbish, it's usually a result of bad tone and bad color harmony. I see there are so many students out there that, you know, um, collecting art supplies is, is always a secondary hobby slash obsession to, to painting. So they buy every single color under the sun, they squeezed them out into multiple palettes. There's just too many options. Like, what do you do? What yellow do you use? What, you know, when you've got 15 different shades of yellow, which one are you gonna use? You're never gonna, never gonna get any work done. It's crazy. You know, so you're doing a painting and it's not working, so you just choose a random colour, try and fix it up. No, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Um, what I recommend, go to a $2 shop, buy a set of cheap plastic white bowls, you know, like throwaway things, plastic things that, you know, I think you can get 20 of them or 100 of them for 5 bucks or something stupid. So... You know, they don't have to be big, obviously just, just little bowls. Start with choosing three bowls, one colour. So something like a, a neutral tint or a burnt sienna or an ultramarine, something like that will work. Something that's got a bit of depth to it. First bowl, you're going to have something washy, so watery, uh, lots of water, a little bit of pigment. It's kind of going to be the lightest tone with the exception of the white paper. So that's the first one. The second bowl, we want something a bit milky. Sort of, you know, a bit heavier, but still still quite watery, but more pigment in there, so it's not so it's not so uh, weak. And this, the third one, it's still not going to be pure pigment, but it's going to be, you know, creamy, you know, probably thick and cream, you know, less water, more pigment. So you've got three tones of the same colour there. And what you do then is you just go and paint picture after picture after picture after picture with these three tones of the one colour. 
choose um, choose old paintings that you've painted successfully before. That's the best way to do it. Even if you're doing it on, you know, the back of old unsuccess- unsuccessful paintings, just get out there and do it. So do smaller ones. You know, if, if you normally paint, you know, a half sheet, you know, use do get two out of that. Do quarter sheets, vice versa. If you do quarter sheets, do some um, do some eight sheets. You know, some A4 stuff. That's fine. But we're just concentrating on our tone. And I guarantee you that after you've done this for a while, you will start to notice the results. They'll be better. They will be a lot more harmonious. You won't have that confusion, that color confusion that ends up going on. There'll be no color, there'll be no room for disharmony because all the, all you're using is tone. And that's when you see how important things are. Uh, one thing to do, whenever you go back to using your color, um, when you're halfway through and you wanna make sure everything's looking okay, or when you're three quarters of the way through, just um, take a photo of it on your phone. Chances are, if you're listening to this podcast, you're on a phone, most likely. All, fo- all phones these days have got cameras. Take a photo of your, of your painting, um, go into it, and change it to black and white. So that's all you've got to do. Change it to black and white. Is that photo still working? Is the picture still working? Is it reading? Is it Has it got light, middle, and dark tones? Or is it too dark? Is it too light? Is it too washy? Have you put too much water in and everything's kind of just becoming weak and insipid? That's the best way to find out. Sometimes we can't see tone. We... Uh, We just can't see it. So take a photo, let your phone see it for you. It's a very, very cool thing to do. You will be amazed at how much more that you gel with the subject when you're looking at it only from a tonal point of view. There's just no room. There's no room for any any fluff. You're getting the important things out of it. When you've done a few of those little paintings with the one color, move up to three colors. Do the same thing for each color. So three bowls for each color, same tonal sequence. Maybe burnt sienna, ultramarine, and a red. Mix those, paint like that for a week or two. Move on to your usual palette. I guarantee you, you'll find that you do not need all of the colors in your palette anymore, and you won't want them. And in the clearest way possible, you will see that it's a waste of time having so many colors. In my arsenal, I have 12. 12 staple colors and a couple of odd bods. That's still a lot. You know what, Sergeant do it with five or six or something. That's it. You know, while limiting your choice will definitely help your painting overall, it is also a lot of fun. Really is a lot of fun. Give it a crack. I guarantee you it'll work for you. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. If uh, If you're in that funk, give it a shot. It's good. Um, thanks for listening. There's a couple of little things I'd just ask you guys to do for me if you could. Um, subscribe to this podcast. So on iTunes or Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you're listening to this, head in and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And uh, same on YouTube. If you go over to my YouTube channel, which is uh, Tony White Watercolor, hit subscribe in the little bell notification icon. And that would be great. I do uh, two demonstrations on YouTube a week. And if you head on to Instagram, same thing, YouTube, Instagram have the same uh, username, Tony White Watercolor. And that'd be great. Subscribe to me, follow me on Insta, that'd be choice. And there is a Facebook group called Tony White Watercolor Workshops. Go and join that group. And whenever you do a painting, anything you like, questions uh, not only just asking me asking all the other members it's great we just help each other out it's a big community that we've got going there so uh we've got about 500 odd members at the moment let's uh let's get it cranking i really appreciate it very very much so once again thank you very much and i will see you next week okay 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 adios amigos bye bye thank you so much for listening If you enjoyed the podcast, please rate and review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you are listening. If you didn't like it, your silence is greatly appreciated. Thank you again and catch you next time.